Small underground nuclear power plants may herald the future for an energy industry under intense scrutiny since Japan's Fukushima disaster. The modular plants could be about as big as a couple of semi-trailers. Something that um, you would see uh, both in developed countries like the U.S. where there's interest in perhaps replacing small coal plants that have been uh, reached the end of their useful lives. Uh, potentially with nuclear plants. The U.S. has a window in the second half of 2014 for the first contract to begin the long process of building one of the small nuclear reactors, a key test to whether they can exist beyond theory. Anything in nuclear takes a while, um, and, that's, and that's appropriate. I mean, you're, you're talking about a technology that, um, you know, that has to be built correctly, and there's a lot of protections that go into the, these projects to build these plants. But the idea of reactors spread throughout a country, even smaller ones, has struck fear among critics. After Fukushima, there was a realization that neighboring countries may not have the same ideas in what constitutes a nuclear emergency. We are currently in a situation where our decision-making criteria are not the same in terms of sheltering the population, evacuation of the population, distribution of iodine pills. Those criteria are not the same in Europe. France's nuclear plants produce about three-quarters of its energy needs, with no current plans to build a modular version domestically. And therein lies the problem. Countries most able to make the investment in smaller plants have less incentive to do so. Matthew Burgoyne, Associated Press.